Solo, a Star Wars story premiered last night in LA, and the first reactions to the film are in. So far, they have been very positive, and don't worry, I'm not going to talk spoilers, and I'm not going to go through all of the collected reactions here individually, because they are already collected in various articles, or you can just go on Twitter and read them if you want to, but it is a relief to just see people calling this film a blast, or fun, or an exciting adventure, because that is exactly what I want out of this film. Plenty of people praise Alden's performance as Han, and of course Donald Glover's Lando is getting praise as well as L337. I will say that there are some less enthusiastic reviews from people like Christian Harloff at Collider who I tend to agree with a lot, and I've read that the first act can be a little bumpy, but once the main plot kicks off it sounds like it's non-stop fun. I have yet to read a purely negative response to the film, and so far it just sounds like a lot of fun, which really is all I ask for. I do want to say, going forward, be careful on the internet because people have seen the film. Reviews are going to be coming out on May 15th, so just be wary of spoilers. Be careful what you read if you are trying to avoid them. I'm trying to avoid them. I won't be talking about spoilers here because I have none to talk about, but I just want everyone to be warned that spoilers are probably going to be floating out there between now and May 25th. But what I really want to talk about is some news dropped by Jon Favreau while he was on the red carpet. Dan Casey from The Nerdist got to interview him and asked about his upcoming live-action series, and the director claimed that it will take place seven years after the Battle of Endor, which is about 23 years before the sequel trilogy begins. I think this is great news. I know some people will be bummed that it's not Old Republic, but people are bummed about every bit of news that isn't Old Republic at this point anyway. I'm just happy that we're getting into an almost completely unknown era. The book Last Shot takes place about three years after the Battle of Endor, and the book Bloodline takes place about 24 years after the Battle of Endor. But that space in between right now is completely unexplored. Favreau went on to say that the series will feature all new characters and use the same cutting-edge technology seen in his film The Jungle Book and the upcoming Lion King. I'd guess that means we'll see an alien heavy cast. I can't really speak to that because I haven't seen The Jungle Book, but I know Star Wars in the past has had some difficulty getting a TV series off the ground because the technology just wasn't available to execute on the vision. But it sounds like that won't be a problem here. Knowing that we'll see new characters in a new era is the best news of all of this to me, because I have no idea what the series will be about. It's going to be in between the Galactic Civil War and the First Order Conflict, so no active war is going on. That means the series could be about anything, and I'm excited to see what Jon Favreau does with that freedom. Finally, Favreau confirmed that he has already written half of the first season of the series in his talk with Anthony Carboni. It's hard to guess what that means for the series since we don't know how long the season will be, but it is good to know that work is well underway because Jon is a busy guy involved in Solo, Marvel, The Lion King, and this series. We still don't have a release date for the live-action show that'll debut on Disney's streaming service, but I'm hoping it'll be sometime in 2019. But what do you guys think of this news? Are you excited for the era being explored? What do you think the series could be about? Let me know in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.